I'm Serena Alchil with MTV News. Some spoke of his beauty on the basketball court, others of his understanding of the game, and still others of the great lion heart the man displayed both on and off the hard wood. Yet the consensus on Wednesday is that the Chicago Bulls' remarkable Michael Jordan, who announced his retirement on Wednesday, will be missed by all. I am here to, to announce my retirement from the game of basketball. I know, uh, you know from a career standpoint, uh, I've accomplished everything I could as an individual. Uh, and right now, I don't have the mental challenges uh, uh, that I've had in the past to, to proceed as a, as, as a basketball player. No matter what happens you know, in this business of basketball, if you didn't get paid a dime, you still would play the game of basketball somewhere. And that love has to be illustrated in the way that you play the game and the way that you carry yourself on and off the court. Michael, is there any chance whatsoever that you'll change your mind somewhere down the road in return? No. I never say never, but 95, 99.9%, .9 I'm, um, I'm very secure with my decision. As for coaching, Jordan said that he might one day, but he needs to, quote, get away from basketball a little bit. Though many will measure Jordan's impact in terms of dollars, fans like singer Aaliyah, who is an ardent Bulls supporter and rapper Silk the Shocker, will simply miss Michael the player. I'm sad to see him go, of course. You know, he is a phenomenon, but he has had an incredible career. You know, we will miss him. And, you know, if this is what he wants to do, then, you know, I support him all the way. He's worked hard, and he deserves to relax now. It's time for him to sit back and watch some games. <laughs> I wish he came back one more year because I, I only seen him play one time and I would have loved to see him play again. So, so yeah, I don't, I don't like it at all. But you know what I'm saying? He got to do what he got to do for himself. You know what I'm saying? And he can't, he can't do it for everybody else. He got to do it for what make him happy. You know what I'm saying? So I got to respect that at the same time. But I would like to see him play again. You know what I'm saying? And he gone. So the greatest player gone. And I guess you got to move on from there. MTV News also got some feedback from people right here in New York Knicks territory. I think it's a loss to the sport, but um, I think it's a nice time for him to bow out gracefully. I think that if he, if he hung around, it'd be kind of like, you know, kind of pointless. I don't, I don't know what he's got to play for now. I mean, six NBA championships in eight years says enough right there. The only other athlete I can compare to him is Muhammad Ali, which I remember my parents in Bangladesh, where they were, they even heard about him there. And now in Bangladesh, you hear about Michael Jordan, you hear about anybody else. So he's one of those athletes, you know, all around the world. I think he kind of like redefined the idea of like a sports superstar. Like nobody's been as big as him and like I don't know if anybody ever will be. Though admitting that his injured finger hurt when cutting a cigar might affect his golf game for a while, Jordan said he looked forward to spending time with his kids. Though he did say he had to field his son's recent plea to dye his hair red like Dennis Rodman's, said Jordan, quote, no red hair in my household. That is the news for now. More news at 10 of the hour every hour right here on MTV. MTV News. You hear it first.